Hey guys, hey everybody's help here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to give you guys my follow-up on iOS 13.6 developer and public beta 2. In this video, I like to talk about how the software has been performing overall, my general experience with the software. I also like to talk about the YouTube community poll and any other feedback or new features and changes that I may come across after using the latest beta for iOS. Now, iOS 13.6, a developer beta 2, is pretty much taking over iOS 13.5.5 beta 1 apple scrapped that all together and just made it ios 13.6 and now beta 2 is the current software for developers and public beta testers now this software here brings one feature that i wanted to give you guys a quick heads up a quick warning about before you go uh, enabling this feature and that's for beta testers as well as for the public release once it is released i thought i'd make you guys aware because this feature can actually impact the performance of your device so let's head on over to some of the new features here well actually there's only one new feature under general software updates and now we have the custom automatic updates tab now apple has broken this section down into two categories download ios updates when connected to wi-fi but this means it will not install the software and then you have the install ios updates automatically so this if you enable it of course this will download the software overnight and then it will automatically install the software although you will get a notification it will automatically install the software on your iphone overnight as well when connected to wi-fi and connected to a power source now the reason i wanted to talk about this is because if you do enable download ios updates what this means is any update that's available for ios it will automatically update this file and keep it within your ios software updates category so if we head on over right here to storage we go to iPhone storage and let's say iOS 13.6 has been released or iOS 13.6.1 has been released and the software is maybe a gig of storage, right? Well, this will be uh, located here taking up a whole gig from your device just sitting there without being installed. Now, this is a good and bad option, right? Because you can download the software over the air, just have it on your iPhone and only install it manually when you want to, but it will be taking up space from your device, like a lot of space depending on the software updates and the size of the software. So if you do decide to turn on download iOS updates, but do not turn on install iOS updates automatically, then just keep in mind that when iOS 13.6 is officially out to the public, that is something you wanna be aware about, that the software will download over the air any additional updates after 13.6 and they will be taking up space from your iPhone and uh, yeah that could be an issue for some users so I recommend if you're going to go ahead and download the software updates why not install it automatically uh, over the air at night when you're connected to a power source and Wi-Fi if you're not just turn it off altogether and just manually update or check for updates so you don't lose any uh, space from your device by having that software update linger on the software of your iPhone. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is, of course, the YouTube community poll. Now, the question was, how is iOS 13.6 beta 2 working for you, of course? Now, we have 4,000 votes so far, and it looks like the higher percentage here is 74 with not running iOS 13.6 beta, which is a good thing. Not a lot of you guys are running the beta, but the ones that are running the beta, the 18% are having a great experience, 6% are having a good experience, but there's still some bugs, and then we have a 2% with not a good experience. Now, I've heard a lot of good feedback, especially from iPhone 7 and iPhone 11 and 11 Pro owners. Yes, iPhone 7, iPhone 11 and 11 Pro owners as well. So uh, right here it says, I'm afraid to update. A lot of users are really afraid because they think that their battery will be impacted in a negative way. Uh, yeah, I would be concerned as well. But as right now, the feedback has been good for iPhone 11, 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max, and surprisingly, iPhone 7. Right here it is. Uh, these users here have installed it on their iPhones. Battery is great and no hiccups, no problems. So it looks like Apple is really, really targeting iPhone 7. If we talked about this many times before where iPhone 7 users were having so many battery drainage issues, heat up issues, and it looks like finally Apple with 13.6 and 13.5.1 has definitely uh, addressed most of those concerns for iPhone 7 and older devices as well, which is of course a great thing. And you guys can always come back to these YouTube community posts. I post these every week so you guys can express your thoughts and comment in these YouTube community posts so everyone can see how everything is working across the board for everyone. And this was just a quick update, just a quick side note there on the new update options for iOS 13.6 and my follow-up overall. 
overall everything is great so far i can't complain about anything battery everything else is working as intended i'll see you guys on the next one peace